Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Vipin Kumar, and I am back with another video: How to manage your AWS Dynamic EC2 inventory with the Ansible. So let's begin. So I am going to configure this machine with the Ansible so that this machine can talk with your AWS account and uh, get your Dynamic EC2 machine inventory. So let's configure the SH, SH deconfiguration file for the password authentication. And make the changes password authentication from no to yes. Save it and restart the service. Okay. Okay, now let's create the SSH key. Okay, now let's configure the local host with the password less entry. Okay, let's verify that are we able to log in on localhost without supplying the password? Yes, so it is configured. Now let's install the EPEL repository. Now let's install the development tool. Now let's install the Python pip on the machine. Now let's go ahead and upgrade the pip installation. There are multiple ways to install the Ansible, but this time we are going to install the uh, Ansible uh, from pip. We can verify the version of uh, Ansible. Okay. Now we can install the Buto and Buto plugins, especially developed for AWS. Now, this is a time to collect your AWS access key and secret key. You can collect both the keys from your AWS account in IAM services and export your access key and secret key on the machine. Now, export one more variable. Ansible host key checking equal to false. Now go ahead and create a separate uh, uh, folder for the AWS. So I am going to create a separate folder under the OPT. To 
I am going to create a playbook to launch EC2 machine on my AWS account from this machine. I am going to launch EC2 micro machine on my AWS account from this playbook. Let's create a dummy host file. Save it. Now let's execute the playbook. You can see the playbook successfully completed. We can verify the instance information into the AWS console. You can see I have one running instance. Let's launch one more machine there. Okay. It has been completed. We can verify the instance information in AWS console. Great. Let's add one more instance. I have three micro machine in my AWS account. I want to manage a dynamical EC2 inventory with the Ansible. Okay, for that you required an Ansible folder under the ETC. So let's create it. Now you require to pick up two files. One is Python script and second is INI file. You can get uh, the Python script from this location. Okay. Now get it I, INI file. You can get INI file from this location. Now export some of the variables. Please make sure that are you using the correct path of the Python script? Please make sure that you are using the right uh, path of INI file. Now you require to download the AWS key pair from the console so that you can log in your EC2 instance by supplying the key pair. I am using the AWS demo key pair and I have already downloaded this key pair on my local machine. Now I am uploading this key pair on the machine. I have uploaded AWS demo dot key on the machine. Now let's move this file from this location to the dot SSH folder. Now let's assign the right permission on this key pair. Okay, now go back into ETC Ansible folder and execute the Python script. Okay, we got permission denied error. Give the executable permission.
So this script is going to connect your AWS account and collect your EC2 instance information and displaying all the information in the JSON format. This script is going to take some time to collect all the required information. This script collected so many information about your EC2 instance. The, this information for the first instance. This is the DNS name. This is the IP addresses. This is for the second instance. DNS name for the second instance. IP address for the second instance. This is for the third instance. This is the DNS name. This is the IP address. And down you can see here it is club with multiple options. Now you can see here it club with EC2. You can see all three IP address are club in EC2 groups. It is also club with uh, tagging option. All three instances are tagged with uh, prod underscore web. I am going to use this tag to check the availability of all three instances from the Ansible uh, playbook. Now let's try to log in one of the server. We are successfully able to log in on one of the EC2 instance from this machine. So now let's try to check the availability of all three servers from Ansible ping module. Before checking the availability of all three servers, we require to complete one more step. Let's add the key pair into the SHH memory. So go back into the SSH folder and add the AWS demo.pem file into the SHH agent. You know, you may require to start the SSH agent on the machine before adding your key pair. Now we can try to add the key pair. It successfully added. We can verify. Okay. It is verifying that AWS demo.pam file successfully added into the agent. Now go back into etc and ansible folder. So what I am doing here, I am running the ansible ping module against on AWS dynamical inventory that is collected by this python script and I am using this user account and I am running this particular command on all the IP address or servers that is under the this particular tag and I am running the ping command on all the servers that is under the tag underscore prod underscore web tagging. So let's do it. So now you can see all three machines are up and online. We can try few more tests. Let's stop one of the instance.
the instance has been successfully stopped we can try to run our dynamical script against all the instance now you can see here the script is not uh, able to reach on 98 machine that is already stopped and uh, two machine is up and online now let's do one more testing let's terminate one of the machine so i'm going to use a termination script i'm creating a terminate ansible playbook and get the instance the instance id either from here or from the script and save it now let's execute this playbook so this uh, playbook is going to terminate one of the instance from the aws console then we can run the ansible dynamical inventory script to validate our test result now we can see here one of the server should be terminated yes the machine has been terminated okay let's run a test on this condition go back into etc and ansible folder and run a test Now you can see here out of three only one server successfully connected that is 148. We can verify this machine in our AWS console to verify the test result. And this is the IP address and uh, this is the IP address. So conclusion is Ansible is able to manage your AWS dynamical inventory in very effective way that's all in this video and thanks for watching and have a nice day